Hello, this is Lestat Baxter of Lestat Productions, developer of the Club Tool. I would like to take a few moments to show you how to use the dance system, which is part of the Club Tool. First thing you need to do is res the Club Tool on the ground. And then I recommend camming in on it to make your life a little easier. Um, you'll notice that the dance system is going to ask for permissions to animate your avatar, and the face animator is going to ask the same. So you click yes on both of those, and then you right click the club tool and select edit. The first thing I recommend doing is under the general tab, renaming your club tool. I'm just going to call it my club tool. That way you know the difference between the two when you go to take it back into your inventory. Now click this edit linked parts box and select the D button. That way you can edit the dance system. Go to your content tab. And in your content tab, you'll notice all the default animations that comes with it, as well as some playlist note cards and the scripts. For this tutorial, I'm going to add Can't Stop It. And I'm going to drag it from the inventory window into the build window. And notice that Can't Stop It is less than 24 characters long. Any animation added to the Club Tool cannot be longer than 24 characters, and that includes symbols and spaces as well. Now you will get asked again uh, for permissions to animate your avatar, so select yes. And now you'll notice that Can't Stop It is in my build window. With those done, we can close the build window and take your club tool back into your inventory. Now go ahead and right click the club tool and select where. Now with the club tool back on your screen, you can select the D button, and then in the dialog message it explains what each button is for. Um, to show you that dance, we're going to select dance, and then a single, and here is a list of all your dances within, and we are going to go ahead and select can't stop it. And there is the animation I just got done adding to the club tool. Now the playlist note cards you've seen earlier can actually be edited while you're wearing the club tool. So as long as all your animations are put in it while it's resed, you can set up a playlist. You'll do it the same way by clicking the edit link parts box first and then clicking your D button. Once Second Life loads the contents of the dance button, you can select one of the playlists. I'm going to go ahead and just edit playlist one and you'll notice that can't stop it is already in there this one is spelled a little differently so I'm going to fix that now the first set of numbers here actually defines how many seconds the following animation is going to play before it switches to the next animation that is on your playlist so if I were to add a dance to this playlist I would first specify how many seconds I want it to play the following animation, which for this tutorial, let's just go with like 15. And now you need to pick one of the animations that is in your club tool, and it must be spelled exactly the same. Let's pick one. How about let's add jazz. So we're going to, after the 15, we're going to put a comma, and then spell jazz exactly the same, and save that note card. Now you can close the playlist note card and close your build window. And now you can select the D button and select dance, select playlist, and here's a list of all your playlists. That was playlist one, so we could click playlist one. And there it goes. That's going to be the beginning of our playlist. And it will smoothly go from one animation to the next. Uh, food for thought when you are doing that make sure that you are um, using a less amount of seconds than the actual animation is for example if your animation is only 10 seconds long you wouldn't want to set it to 15 seconds that will result in a 5 second delay and your avatar will just stand there waiting for the 15 seconds to be up before he goes on to the next animation so it wouldn't hurt for some of your animations if you're experiencing this problem to go ahead and play them in world via your inventory. So if I were to stop my avatar and turn off my AO and double click one of these, 
and select play in world, you can kind of time about or get an approximate idea of how long that animation is. And those are just a few tips to help guide you along your journey using the club tool. Thank you very much. Have a great day.